everyone, welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I have something different for you all. Instead of detailing about a study today, I will be introducing you all to a journal that is the IHOPE Journal of Ophthalmology. To talk to us on this, we have on board with us today Dr. Raja Narayanan, the editor-in-chief of this brand new journal which launched in 2022 itself. The journal publishes original works and findings that contribute to the advancements in the field of ophthalmology related to big data analysis, health economics, clinical and public health research in eye health and is published four times a year. The journal is owned by the Indian Health Outcomes, Public Health and Economics Research Center, that is IHOPE, India, and is published by the growingly popular publishing house, Scientific Scholar. Apart from being the editor-in-chief of the journal, Dr. Narayanan serves as the director at Suven Clinical Research Center, LV Prasad Eye Institute in Hyderabad, India. We welcome you to Medical Dialogue, sir. Yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Nandita, for the introduction and the invitation. I am also very happy to join so, Dr. Narayanan, please tell us about the society, I hope, and about the journal. Why was the society founded in the first place and how the journal actually came into existence? Yes, yeah, so the Indian Health Outcomes Public Health and Economics Research Center, or I hope for short, is an interdisciplinary center uh, which was uh, uh, started with, from a grant of the India Alliance, which is Welcome Trust and uh, Department of Biotechnology. Um, and this is one of the first of this kind of a grant to establish a clinical research center. While um, clinical research as such, a lot of funding happens for various diseases and interventions. But this one is unique in terms of systems development to enhance the capacity building of clinical research in India. Um, in this center, I hope center, is a collaboration between LV Prasad Eye Institute, which is a premier eye institute in the world. We also have the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, and the Indian Institute of Public Health, Hyderabad, which everyone is very well aware of. So we started this I Hope Center uh, to generate knowledge about clinical research, how to conduct clinical research, how clinicians can get involved and also understand more of the clinical trial information which is coming out. But apart from that, one of the important uh, or key differentiators for the I Hope Center are the emphasis on big data, public health, and health economics, combining them all together to bring them to policy. That motto what we have is called research to policy. So I hope is a collaboration between these three different centers. One is a clinical center, one is an economics and management center, which is I am Ahmedabad and also public health uh, from IIPH, all three of us working towards making research uh, for impact uh, to the common man, to the society, and which is through policy. And in this context, we wanted to share knowledge, whatever we generate, in terms of not just individual diseases, but as a system, as a process, we thought that a new journal, which is unique, it's not a regular clinical journal or an economics journal. It's a combined journal uh, of having research to policy as its motto, uh, which is quite unique, I believe. And for that, we wanted to come out with a publication. And that took the shape of the I Hope Journal of ophthalmology and uh, we got in touch uh, with the publishers, scientific scholar, specifically Dr. Vikram Dogra, who is based in the US, to another world-renowned expert in Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Arun Singh, had recommended uh, uh, the publishers and from there, I think they have been also very supportive scientific scholar in terms of guiding us 
through the various issues and uh, in terms of the articles and production so i think we are very happy to have this collaboration working out very well so if you could just tell us uh, tell our viewers what is the aim as well as the scope of the journal who are the potential authors who can actually submit their articles in the journal as well as what is the target audience any unique features of the journal which the authors should actually know about this journal um, accepts review articles as well as original work in the area of uh, public health and health economics using big data one thing which uh, regular clinicians might be thinking whether we accept clinical case reports or case series uh, unfortunately this journal is not specific to uh, those kind of work uh, where in general clinicians look to publish their Uh, important findings from a case or case series but uh, i hope journal of ophthalmology is looking for big data analytics including health economics and clinical and public health research um, for publication we would uh, encourage collaborative work people who have uh, used experts from different fields like public health or statistics economics and big data and artificial intelligence to have them as co-authors it could be from a large single institution like a university or it could be from multiple institutions and organizations as co-authors uh, that brings better strength to their study to their work and also makes the policy makers to actually sit and take notice of such work and articles uh, that's the kind of work that i hope journal is looking for we also uh, look forward to articles on any health systems development and improvement in terms of either infrastructure or policy impact uh, using even governments and ministries uh, as authors and co-authors so these are the broad areas of work which we are looking at and it's a quarterly journal so once in 3 months uh, is what we are coming out at this point of time and it's a very new journal uh, we started only the first issue was published in january this year but already we have had uh, quite a few submissions and publications in the field of uh, public health and uh, big data and policy so we hope that uh, those who are interested in this area and this field of work will contribute to this journal please tell us something about the recently published investigations in the journal so i would bring to attention about the uh, recent articles the important ones the which we have published and uh, which have had uh, a number of downloads a lot of people interested in these articles apart from knowing what i hope is uh, people have been uh, very interested in our articles on sample size in research how we have evolved from hundreds to thousands to now lakhs and millions of data points uh, that is something which uh, a lot of uh, our readers have been very interested in and that article has uh, garnered more than 1000 downloads in a very short span of time uh, we also uh, regularly uh, publish articles involving uh, let's say universal health coverage we had one by dr jacqueline ramkey from the london school of hygiene and tropical medicine one of the first review articles was on realizing the potential of routinely collected data uh, as we all are aware we have a deluge of data nowadays with so many 
different technologies being used so a lot of data is coming in but how do we convert that into information and knowledge and ultimately for the good of the society through policy and this is a very nice article written by dr ramki on realizing the potential of routinely collected data to help uh, achieve universal health coverage so that's another uh, popular article that we have and then we also have one artificial intelligence in diabetic retinopathy which was uh, recently published just in this issue um, by dr rajiv raman of uh, shankar netralaya uh, we also have numerous articles on guidelines standard treatment guidelines the processes to be followed it has been led by uh, the nice international of uk uh, many of you would be aware that nice is probably the most uh, foremost organization currently in the world in helping develop standard treatment guidelines for a health system in any country and i hope has been collaborating with nice international on learning from them about how to uh, make standard treatment guidelines for different diseases using health technology assessment so the series of workshops which we have with them uh, they are converted into kind of methodology articles along with uh, members from i hope as well as nice being co-authors on these uh, issues and uh, we also have other articles on technology diffusion um as well as um on carbon footprint in medical care or health care so that's also another important uh, area currently being looked at um so we have a broad range of uh, topics that we look at when we are looking in the healthcare and as you would have realized from the discussion so far we are looking at health systems as a whole which would be impacting the lives of people overall uh, so these are some of the popular articles which we have published great uh, lastly so why did the society choose scientific scholar as their publishing partner scientific scholar is a uh, very popular i would say publishing company with numerous journals in different fields that they are publishing uh, if you go to any site you see the number of journals that they are publishing it's tremendous and they have some of the top journals uh, not just from india but also the us uh, various uh, journals are being published but what i like about uh, scientific scholar is the ease of use both as an author as a reviewer and editor it's a very easy to use platform uh, the submission process and the editorial side the review assignments and the ease of use is such that um, it's very very simple and that makes the process very efficient the turnaround time the submission to decision is less than 20 days for us and all this is possible because of the use ease of use of the platform of which scientific scholar has and their support team has been excellent they have been guiding us at each step and uh, any questions any queries are resolved Uh, directly by the senior managers of scientific scholar uh, and they are they really guide us they hand hold us uh, during the publication so i think uh, they are doing a tremendous job also if you could just give out any final message for the audience especially for the authors yeah i would like to um, see that authors who are interested in having their scientific work which they spend devote a lot of their time in their life working for academics working to do research getting grants spending so much time for writing and designing studies analyzing them but i'm sure all of the authors and the scientific community want their work 
to have an impact in the society and for that just publishing by itself doesn't create too much of an impact yeah it's probably good for the cv but if you have really done some good work you want the people to benefit the end users to benefit from your research work and that's why getting the notice our attention of policy makers is so crucial and in that context i would say that i hope journal uh, though it's a very new journal has started collaborating with policy makers uh, like we have uh, even written articles uh, with the aishman bharat team we are also collaborating with them in a lot of other areas as well as as i said with nice of uk where they also write co-author articles on their uh, guidelines development processes so if anybody wants their research work to have an impact in the society they should look at i hope as a journal for their publication thank you so much sir thank you for your valuable time thank you thank you so much that's all for today stay safe never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon